So why should you get a solid state drive plus a hard drive rather than just getting a larger hard drive? Especially for those who are new to the PC building experience and may not know why, this may not be as common sense as a lot of you may already know this. So you might have to compromise, especially if you're on a budget, some space on the hard drive if you want to spend the money on a solid state drive because they are more expensive for the amount of storage that you would get versus what you would get on a hard drive. So why not just get a larger hard drive and just call it a day? Well, there's a couple of reasons to that that I'm going to explain to you. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is JD from JD Tech here, and welcome back to the channel where we discuss PC passion tech reviews, unboxings, and setup design. So if you're into that sort of thing, consider checking out the rest of the channel and subscribing. So today I'm going to just kind of recap over what an SSD is or solid state drive is and a hard disk drive or HDD is and then explain why people get an SSD and a hard drive or even multiples of those and just have that configuration versus just having a straight up hard drive for everything. A solid state drive has no moving parts and it is a lot quieter because of that and it also runs a lot faster miles ahead of what a hard drive is. The only downside is that solid state drives are more expensive than you would see in a hard disk drive. To kind of define that, we have the hard drive itself, or the HDD or the hard disk drive, that's separate from the solid state drive. And that has moving parts as spinning disks with a needle that reads the files just like a record player would when it's playing music. And it's a lot slower because of this, but it's also cheaper for that same amount of storage that you would get on an SSD, a lot cheaper. So what you would get for like 120 gigs on an SSD, you can get for one terabyte on a hard drive. So there's a big gap there, but there's a huge difference in speed and also some other compromises that you may be making with just using a hard drive. Now the thing about using an SSD is that it's ridiculously fast and it stays fast for a long time. The only time it really gets slower is when you put more storage onto it or you store more things onto it then it will get slower but it would still be miles ahead of what a hard disk drive would be even after some time or when it was first purchased so there's always that trade-off it's always going to be faster or at least most of the time it's going to be faster but even hard drives have different speeds at 5200 rpm 7200 rpm and even 10,000 rpm but still is going to be slower than an SSD. Now there are different types of SSDs as well, such as NVMe based SSDs as well as SATA based SSDs. But overall, it's gonna be faster either way than a hard drive. So why do we, or PC enthusiasts, or just people in general that build their own PCs, always push or find the budget to put an SSD in their computer? Well, the main reason is to run the operating system on there. The operating system has to locate a bunch of files and a bunch of services that it has to run and load a bunch of resources to just run the operating system. It may look simple, but there's a lot going on in the background. So it needs to access a lot of information, a lot of different files. So the faster the drive that it's on, it's going to load up faster and also operate faster. So it's gonna give you a much more enjoyable experience just working with the, the SSD and the operating system. It's gonna be a lot more fluid and faster than it would ever be on a hard disk drive. Now, the hard drive may be able to boot it up fast at first, obviously not as fast as an SSD, but over time it will get slower and your operating system will get slower. So keeping your operating system on a separate drive on the SSD is gonna make it a lot faster. Also, you can put larger programs on there, such as you know Microsoft Office and other stuff like that that allocates a lot of resources to run at the same time, and even Adobe projects as well, such as Photoshop and Premiere and After Effects, which also load a bunch of resources. So anything that accesses a lot of files or those really creative programs that need that have a lot of functionality and built-in toolkits and everything, those access a lot of files. So putting that on a faster drive, it gives it a much faster experience than you would have it on a hard drive. Now, you are going to be limited in space as you always will be. If you try to get the equivalent amount of space on a hard disk drive versus an SSD, it's always gonna cost a lot more. So I'm assuming for most of you out there watching this video, you're not gonna spend the money to to drop on a two terabyte or even a four terabyte SSD. But for a hard drive, you put your, your games on there, your files, your smaller programs and your videos, everything that takes up a lot of space that doesn't necessarily need to be on an SSD. Now it's not gonna affect your FPS gains if you're putting your games on the HDD versus the SSD. 
it's just not going to. The only thing that's gonna be really changed is the boot time, obviously. So if you're loading up GTA 5 on a hard drive, it takes a long time, I know. But if you put it on an SSD, it loads up way faster. But once it's loaded, it runs just the same as it would on a hard drive versus an SSD, so that's not going to matter. Even though if you're on a budget, you may be compromising for space, it's still good to have that separation for just putting some of those programs in the operating system onto a faster drive. And the other reason why it's highly recommended to have a second drive in the first place is also for a fail-safe system. Perhaps the hard drive gets corrupted or even your operating system gets corrupted. Maybe the drive that it's on gets corrupted itself. So what you can do is you can boot from the other drive and access the files that are on that corrupted drive and try to, you know, save whatever you can. Now, you wouldn't be able to do that if you only had one drive. So having multiple drives also acts as a fail safe and also keeping your operating system on a separate drive can help isolate it and keep it from you know, getting corrupted or anything else that might happen to one drive that won't necessarily have to happen to the other drive. So it's also good to have that sort of sense of security and dividing up the risk. You know, the more you divide up that risk, the better, obviously. And it really gives you a good sense to why a lot of people do this configuration where you have the SSD in the hard drive. So it may seem like a simple question, but it, it has a multitude of reasons as to why it's important. And for that reason, you know, I think it's definitely worth it to spend a little extra money on the SSD while getting a, you know, smaller hard drive if your budget is not going to allow you to get a larger hard drive. I think it's worth it doing that rather than just getting a larger hard drive and putting everything on there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have burning questions to ask that may come off as common knowledge to PC enthusiasts, don't be afraid to ask it, and I may be able to make a video about it just like this one. If you're interested in that, let me know, and some other questions that you might be having, let me know down in the comments below, and I will be sure to make note of it and try to make a video about it. So hopefully I'm not rambling too much on about that. I want to thank you all for watching so much. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you all for watching. I will catch you in the next one.